We've added our Little League players, and we've also added our coaches, so now we can set up our draft. This league has 80 players and 8 coaches, so that means 8 teams of 10 players each. To get started, we'll enter 80 picks in this draft. You can change this number later if the number of players increases or decreases. Now we've arrived at the draft overview page. At the top of the page, we see all the settings that need to be fixed. On the left side of the page are the overall draft settings, and on the right side are the individual settings. We'll go back up to the top of the page, and we'll start with the first setting, the scheduled start time. The draft won't actually start until you start it, but you still need to enter a scheduled start time so everybody knows when to show up. We'll enter a time somewhere in the future. We've entered a date and time, and then a reminder that you still have to start the draft yourself. Returning to the draft overview page, we can tackle the draft order next. At the top of the draft order page, we have the total number of picks. You can change this if needed. And then we have the number of picks for each coach. In our case, each coach gets 10 picks, so we can change all. If the number of picks each coach gets is not equal, you can make the necessary adjustments here but all the picks need to add up to your total picks in the draft. In section two, we set the picks per round. Now typically this will be pretty straightforward. Each coach gets one pick per round. So in this case, there are eight picks per round. So 80 total picks, eight picks per round. We'll take 10 rounds to complete our draft. The third and final section is the actual draft order. The right column has all the pick totals for each coach. And as you can see, we need to correct this. So we'll click on the draft order wizard. First, we have the number of picks each coach gets in each round, and that's one per round. And then we have the initial order. You can set this yourself, or you can randomize it. Last, we'll decide whether this is a snake draft or a repeating draft. And then we'll apply the changes. And this built out the draft order for us. The right column now has the correct pick totals and we can save our draft order changes. In many Little League drafts, players are assigned before the draft actually begins. The online draft system supports this with pick notes and the ability to auto-skip a turn. Click on the plus icon in the pick note column to add a note for a particular pick. For the third pick for Ralph, we're gonna pre-assign a player. So first we'll enter a note. We'll just say that the player has already been assigned and then we'll set the skip this pick automatically to yes. And we'll see later on in the draft how this will play out. If you don't want to skip a pick automatically, you can just enter a note. So let's do that for the fifth pick. We'll click on the plus icon and then enter a note. Perhaps it could be that we're supposed to pick a particular player at this turn. We'll review our draft order, and you can come back and make any changes before the draft begins. Since we're skipping a pick in our draft order, that third pick, we need to pre-assign that player. So we'll click on the Players tab, and then View and Manage. We'll find the player that we're going to pre-assign, and in this case we're assigning it to Coach Ralph. So we'll assign it to him, we'll save our changes, and that player has been pre-assigned and is no longer in the draft. Now if we return to our draft page, we'll see that there are only 79 players in the draft, but there's still 80 picks, but we remember that one of those picks will be skipped. You can pre-assign as many players as you need to. Okay, let's take a look at the live draft. Click on the Enter Live Draft button from the Draft Overview page. At the top of the screen, we have a warning that some of the coaches haven't logged in yet. We recommend opening up the draft board in a separate tab or window. The draft board is a great way to get an overview of the draft as it progresses. As you can see, we have all the picks lined up, and then notes about picks that are going to be skipped, and any other pick notes that have been assigned. I'll switch back over to the live draft page, and we'll start the draft. Remember, you need to push the Start Draft Now button to actually start the draft. Now if the commissioner is going to make most of the picks himself, what we'll do is we'll pause the draft, and then we'll push the Admin Pick button and this will take us to the admin pick page. Now from here your admin or commissioner can make the picks as the coaches call them out. So in this case it's Joe's turn. He can call out his first player 
and then the commissioner can make the pick for him. He'll select the player, and then it automatically goes on to the next pick. We can switch between this admin pick page and the draft board, so let's do that. As you can see, the first pick was just made, and now we've moved on to the second pick. We can return to the admin pick page once we're ready to make the second selection. Now remember, we pre-assigned the third pick and set it to auto-skip. So once we make this second selection, it'll skip automatically to the fourth pick. And as you can see, we're now at the fourth pick. And we can switch over again to the draft board to watch this happen. The second pick was made, the third pick was skipped, and now we're on the fourth pick. And we'll return to the admin pick page to make pick number four. With pick number five, we added a pick note, and that will show up on the admin pick page and also on the live draft page. So here it says, must pick his son. So we can go down and find his son and make that selection. Let's return to the draft board one more time. If any of the coaches want to make their own selections, return to the live draft page and then you need to resume the draft. So we'll go ahead and resume the draft and it happens to be the administrator's turn so he can make his selection from the live draft page. To return to the admin pick, we'll pause the draft and then push the admin pick button again. The draft continues this way until all the picks have been made. Individual coaches can use their own devices to follow the draft in real time. The draft board will be updated for everyone, as will the list of selected and available players. Once the draft is over, select the Players tab and select the View or View and Manage option. From this page, each coach can filter by their own name, so we'll select Dale here and apply the changes. And here's Dale's roster. His 10 players are here, as are any notes, and the contact information for his players and their parents. Dale can click on the Excel button to download this data to his own computer. He'll click on Excel and then save the file. And here's what that file looks like. All of the information is here and Dale's ready to start his season. The information is also available all season long in the online draft system.